What's up, bikes? Today we have a special announcement from our weatherman. I'm Sophie, and you're watching SVCV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Seniors, make sure to nominate your classmates for Snowball today. The link is posted on Schoology. If you want to enroll in classes through Highland Community College this semester, the deadline is January 14th. Check Schoology for more information. If you wish to be a part of the tech crew for the musical, there will be a meeting next Tuesday after school. Make sure and attend. You have a chance to show your school spirit tomorrow night at the home basketball games against Emporia. The theme is America. If you are the fan with the most spirit, you can be named Fan of the Week and win a cash prize. Now, let's head over to weatherman Josh Duncan with a winter weather alert. That's right, Sophie, we do have some winter weather to talk about. So let's start off with your forecast headlines today. Enjoy it because it's the last mild day we're going to have for a while. Tomorrow turning much colder along with some rain. And then as we get even colder, that will transition into some wintry precipitation and eventually ending with snow as we head throughout the day on Saturday. So let's break this down for you, starting off with the temperatures. Again, today, highs in the low 60s, but here we go. This is tomorrow's forecast. It's gonna be one of those days where it's warmer in the morning than it will be in the afternoon. We'll start out with wind chills in the upper 30s. Not gonna to feel too bad, but then check this out. By three o'clock, wind chills dropping down into the 20s and will stay in the 20s through the rest of, of the evening. So some much colder weather is on the way for tomorrow. Here's your overall timeline for this winter storm. Again, Friday, most of the day is rain with the temperatures just above freezing. But as soon as they fall below freezing, that rain will begin to freeze. And we're talking about freezing rain and sleet Friday night, 18 degrees, so getting very cold. And then Saturday will end with some snow and a high of just 24. Here's how it looks with our future radars. Friday morning, we should be dry, just a few showers to our southeast. Friday afternoon, the rain will begin to increase. That's the green color. Notice Topeka is that star. We're getting close to the mix already as we head toward three o'clock in the afternoon. Then this is six o'clock. You can see a mixture of snow this orange is sleet, the pink is freezing rain, and the green is still rain. So getting icy out on those roads by 6 p.m. Now we skip ahead to Saturday, 6 in the morning, and we have a mixture of sleet and snow. And this second round is going to produce the most accumulating snowfall as we go throughout the day Saturday. But as we head into the afternoon, it should start to shift off to the east. So what are we looking at? Here is our snowfall and ice forecast because this is going to be a rather significant icing event. We think a tenth to a quarter of an inch of ice will fall Friday evening. And then on top of that, two to as much as five inches of snow. And that is never a good setup when you have ice and then snow on top of that, making for very hazardous travel as we head toward Friday night and into Saturday. Here's the seven day forecast. We'll walk you through this Friday. Keep in mind, there are home basketball games scheduled. Uh, we'll see if the, any adjustments need to, be, need to be made, but road conditions will be getting worse from Friday afternoon through Friday night. So the rain will change the freezing rain. Temperatures go down to 18. Much cooler this weekend. Snow, especially early on Saturday. Then we'll dry out 33 degrees for Sunday. The Chiefs game, if you're heading out, there could still be some slick spots, but nothing should be falling from the sky at that point. And then we stay pretty seasonable with highs in the 30s and 40s through next week. Sophie, back to you. Thanks, Josh. 
That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.